Now, it's become almost tradition on the channel that whenever I go through and watch an entire musical, like I did with Spongebob, and just recently Newsies, I then rank every song from that musical. So today, this is that video for a Newsies reaction series that I just finished on the channel. Now, if you want to go and watch uh, any of the Newsies videos that you haven't watched or if you haven't seen any of them, I will link the playlist up there so you can go and watch every single one now. But without further ado, let's get into ranking all 12 songs from Newsies. Disclaimer before we do, there's no reprises in this ranking. I'm sorry. So the bottom line reprise and the watch what happens reprise aren't in this i'm afraid sorry it, it's it, it's the 12 main songs that aren't reprises starting off the list at number 12 is i never planned on you and i it just didn't land for me i didn't really see the chemistry between jeremy jordan and kira Lindsay as jack and Catherine. love songs for me in musicals as usually some of the weakest i like the big showstopper numbers particularly it didn't land for me not as good as some of the rest hence it's being at 12. Now, I know I just said that I don't like Jack and Catherine's songs together, which is why number 11 is something to believe in. It, it's, I never planned on you, but just slightly tweaked and slightly better. I think they sound better together in this one. And there are moments of sort of interaction. that I'm like, OK, that was seem genuine, but it's still not an amazing song for me. And the problem with news is there are so many choral show stoppy numbers that these ones sort of get sidelined. Is that is that fair? Probably not, but it's my ranking, and that's what I think, and... and uh. at number 10 is the finale. <sighs> Finales of shows need to be this big, everyone coming together. You get reprises of different songs coming in. You get a massive feel of elation. This is, the, this is like the, the conclusion of a show. And Newsies is the first show I've seen, I think, where I didn't feel that how I thought I would like I've been teasing them a lot in this in this video already but some of the songs I thought these would be great showstoppers and then the showstopper didn't really feel like a showstopper it was very strange uh, number nine is that's rich now this is going to be very controversial and this is a musical that where hang on let me come and sit let me sit away uh, this is going to be very controversial uh, because I know people love Meta Larkin as a character, and let me tell you, so do I. And I know that people love the song That's Rich, and so do I. But this 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 show is is inundated with top quality musical numbers and songs and ballads, and That's Rich kind of got lost in the ether for me. Like it it unfortunately, it kind of just got lost and. I wish that wasn't the case, but I've only seen the show once, and that's one of the songs that didn't really land for me. I'm sorry. Although it had some of the best comedy in it of the show, as did Meta Larkin as a character, so you got that going for you. Coming in at number eight is The Bottom Line. Now, now coming in at number eight is The Bottom Line, and I actually think this is one of the most underrated songs in the show. Uh, I was speaking to some of my mates that also like Newsies, and they said this is, this is a horrible song, which I think that's a strong word for any song, but especially for a harmless song at the bottom line. And I think that's the best word to describe it. Harmless. It's not a show-stopping incredible number. It's not awful. It's the bottom line. It's, it's fun. And I think uh, the guy who plays Pulitzer really nails the role and plays this really, really cool villainy character. And the bottom line kind of sums that up as a villainy song. So I I don't mind the bottom line. Coming in at number seven is Watch What Happens, uh, which is a song that Catherine sings when she's trying to figure out how to write a newspaper article about the strikes. Uh, this song, if you want me to sum it up in, what, like five, ten seconds, fun. I love some of the musical choices in it. Um, like there's a constant dun 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 which goes through it, which is really nice. And I think what really sold this song to me was her characterization through the song. Like she made some really strong character choices in physically but also vocally when she was singing. She sort of pauses and speed up a bit and, and it fit really well with the character. So there was some great character singing and watch what happens. And I feel like that's something that isn't spoken about enough in musicals. But well, well done. Cara Lindsay, because you, you, you're a great character actor. Just missing out on the top, just missing out on top five spot with number six here is King of New York. 
Maybe this should be higher just for the tap dancing section alone. I mean, I love a bit of tap, and the tap dance section in King of New York is remarkable. And then the way they come back in after that is so strong, and it's remarkable to watch. Maybe this should be higher, but the problem is there's like five, as you'll see, top-tier newsy songs that, to be fair, maybe are all in the five together. But King of New York, it's a great way to open Act 2. It's a solid, strong opener for an act, and it does that very well, at least. I thought we'd return to the set here and do the top five, um, because they're all very much fighting for the number one spots. Let's go through them one at a time. Number five is Santa Fe. Uh, when I when I realised that the act one finale of Newsies was just going to have one person in it, I wasn't confident. Like, for me, an act one finale has to be as much of the company as possible, all stories coming together and setting up the next act. So when I learned it was just Jack Kelly on stage, I was not optimistic, but he, great song. He banged it, there's emotion, there's like trouble in here, there's fighting against yourself and what people think you should do. Santa Fe is a great song. Number four is Seize the Day. Now this is kind of the newsy song. Like every musical has a song that it's like, that's the poster song. Dear and Hanson's got Wayne Through a Window, Wicked's got Defying Gravity. I can't think of any more. Other than this one, Newsies has got Seize the Day. I completely messed that analogy up, didn't I, really? And I've just stepped on something. Top three. Now, number three is Carrying the Banner. I mean, it opens the show in such a great way. It really sets the tone for the rest of the show with this energetic all-singing, all-dancing ensemble flying everywhere. Um, it, 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 it really sets the sort of group atmosphere that is... Newsies. Number two is Once and For All. Now, I did not, I didn't know this song existed before I watched it. Like, Carrying the Banner and Seize the Day, I kind of knew about. Santa Fe, obviously, I knew about. Once and For All, I didn't know existed until I watched it. Wow. Just the way it all brings everything. Oh, I, Once and For All is, it's one of those that gives you goosebumps. When the thing comes forward with everyone on it, oh my god. Oh my god, is it great. It's... It is amazing. If you know the songs of Newsies by now, you will know that number one is The World Will Know. Now, this is also a song I knew before I watched the whole thing, and actually in a very old phrase all of the video, so be careful, uh, where I did six underrated musical theatre songs. I think this was in that video, so I'll link that up there if I can find it and go back and watch, but be warned, it is a it is a very old phrase all of the video, so it'll be a tough watch, uh, even more than usual. Uh, but no, The World Will Know is a great song. Again, it, it, these top five all have the same sort of justification behind them. Big group, Newsies numbers, where they rally a team together. But this one really has undertones that still matter today. The whole thing of let's fight against the system and, and do what's right. That message is still relevant today. And that's why Newsies is so brilliant. And that's why The World Will Know is the most brilliant song in a brilliant show. So there we go. There's the most sort of... So there we go, that's the traditional ranking the songs from a musical I've just watched on the channel. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you enjoyed the Newsies Reaction Series, because this is kind of the full wrap-up. I also did the last, the last reaction, but this is kind of the wrap-up to that era of reactions on the Fraser Oliver channel. Uh, and we're now, we've just started Into the Woods Reaction, uh, as in the, the Disney film with James Corden, Emily Blunt, that lot. Uh, so that'll be out now, and obviously once we reach that, we'll go through and rank them. Um... Yeah, so if you haven't already subscribed, uh, you're new or whatever, please do subscribe. Uh, we're doing a lot more musical content on here now, but obviously as well as Muppets and such. Uh, thank you for watching. Like all that. A couple videos here. Toodles. Also, the original one of these was SpongeBob the Musical, uh, so that will be here. And I'm going to see it soon, so there'll be a full review on SpongeBob the Musical actually seeing it live. So, Fraser, you're a waffle shite.